Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Apple. I'm just doing this tonight to look at Apple because Apple is earnings out. I think it's tomorrow night. Yeah, it's tomorrow night after the close. I think it's the 23rd. And, you know, I, I did an Apple review um, before the earnings on this gap. And, and I'm going to do the same thing here again now today, saying the exact same thing pretty much as I said back in January. Uh, interestingly enough, the stock has been trading in a range, okay, ever since this movement, since the beginning of the year, in a range. I and mean, this has been range bound. The overall chart of Apple is in a downtrend. Many people would not read that this way, but that is what it is. It's in a downtrend. So my call for Apple is this on the earnings. Most likely gap down. Gap down on Apple would confirm the overall trend to the downside and should follow through, unlike the gap that happened in January, which dropped, fell, broke, and then it's been basing sideways ever since then. If Apple gaps down, it'll be real and will actually have follow through, unlike the gap in January, which did not fall off a planet. Now, that being said, if Apple gaps up, to $600, it's an immediate buy, and Apple will make new highs this year. So it could do anything it wants. Again, I have no idea what Apple's going to do. I said the same thing in January, that Apple is too close to a co correction not to do it. And when I said that back in January, I said because it did not do it and gapped down and followed through with the trend and did not correct itself and was so close to doing it, and by the way, Apple was closer to corre correction before this gap than it is right now because it was trading up here around the 550 area, okay? So Apple was closer to correcting itself, to fixing itself before the earnings gap in January than it is right now. It's not that it makes a, a huge difference, but it's definitely something to note, meaning most likely reaction for Apple is to gap down. And that's really going to be my call. If it gaps up to 600, it's a media buy. The stock chart is corrected. It's back in an uptrend and will make new highs this year. If Apple gaps down, it's lower. And my bias, my, my read on this is that I think it will gap down because I said this in January and it's still in effect that the correction should have happened in January for Apple if it was going to do it. It was too close to doing it not to do it. And it should have happened then if it was going to happen. And there was confirmation in the gap down in Apple in January, meaning confirmation of the overall trend, confirmation that it wasn't going to correct itself this year, confirmation that it was not going to do it because it could have done it then. It was so easy for it to do it then. It, it All it had to do was gap up 50 bucks and it couldn't do it. And, and again, $70 is not that much for the stock to gap up to, between today and, and tomorrow night if it wants to. It's around 531 here into the close or so. But... I think it's going to gap down. I think this chart is going to gap down. My call is for Apple to gap down. But I will say that if Apple gaps up to $600, it's a buy. Anything outside of that is not going to be good enough and not going to be correct and not going to be right because Apple's still broken here. Chart's broken in Apple. It is broken. It's been broken. It is broken. And what has not happened yet in Apple is massive selling or shorting, okay? So all of that could come into play. In order for it to get back up to 600, it has to get bought. And it has to get bought heavily. And power money people have to believe in the stock again to buy it, to buy it, to make it jump up to 600. And, and some people are already in this long. And they have to invest in it more heavily, like believe in it, have the conviction, believe in it. And I, and I just don't know if that's going to happen. So my bias for Apple here is follow through continuation of the original trend of this ever since the gap that happened back in September of 2012, that Apple continues the downtrend and gaps down because it could have corrected itself in January. It should have done a correction in January. It didn't do a correction in January. And that told me a lot. It told me a lot. And I said it when I did the pre-earnings call in before the gap in January. I said I thought it would gap down, and I said that it could gap up to 600 then, and it had to, and I said it was too close to doing it, that it could go either way. And it could go either way this time now, too, but I think the confirmation of it continuing to the downside is real here because it didn't do what it should have done in January. It was so close to doing it and closer than it was today. So there it is. If Apple gaps up to $600, buy it. Buy it. It's going to make new highs this year. 
And if Apple does not, it's it's you know it's either going to be a nothing gap or it's going to gap down and 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 the gap, next gap down is going to be real and it's going to break and it pretty much can gap down anywhere here. I I, I don't think though that this is going to be a nothing gap. I do think there's going to be play in this. Of that I feel very certain. So there'll be definite play in Apple if it gaps up to 600 to the upside, and if it gaps down, there's going to be play in it too. So I definitely think this is going to do something of significance. Sometimes gaps gap, and they're nothing gaps. I don't see that happening here this week with this. I think this is going to be something to do. It's definitely a watch. It's a bullish watch or bearish watch, depending on what, you, what it does and how the gap rates. And I don't think it's going to be a no play or a nothing gap. I think this could do it, all right? So this is the pre-earnings call on Apple. It's April 22nd, okay? I have no idea what it's going to do tomorrow, how it's going to trade tomorrow, what it's going to do tomorrow. But Apple's still in a downtrend. Apple has to correct itself and go to 600 to be an immediate buy. Or Apple's going to gap down on the earnings. And then it's a good short if it rates well, and I have a feeling it will, and it'll follow through and continue the overall trend. The selling, the massive selling in a stock hasn't come in yet. So there is a lot of potential for this thing to fall off a planet still yet. It is waiting, 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 waiting and hasn't really done much of anything since the beginning of the year, to be honest. So we'll see what it does. I think it's going to do something, though. I think it's going to be in play tomorrow night. So watch April after the close, April 23rd. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great trading day tomorrow, everyone. Email me if you'd like more information on the upcoming gap class, April 26th and 27th. My email is Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great evening.